Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no center photographer, just a dude with a camera, and a dude with a plant that I can never pronounce correctly. Is it a Dracania? Is it a Dracera? You be the judge. Anyways, I've been propagating these for about three months now, and this is the results. What I do is I'm going to get these planted in little pots of three, and hopefully give them away as parting gifts. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Here's my Dracenia plant that I've had for close to 10 years now and it's died off and grown back and a few months ago I took a bunch more cuttings to propagate. You see, these are old cuttings that I took years ago and these are the most recent which is about three months ago. So this is going to be a follow-up to all that. I've had tremendous growth. It gets you know it's share of water here but it does get forgotten it's in the shade all the time the sun does not hit it directly and it grows massive okay so it's about 110 degrees out here today so I'm gonna go into the studio where I've had the air conditioner on and I will show you the propagation and results that we have had Somewhere in dirt, somewhere in water. So stay tuned. Okay, this is much better. It's cool. 77 degrees in the shot. Oh, only 97 degrees in the shade. Okay, so here is the results. Some were put in water, some were put in soil, it's like the tops. I had a number of them cut off, so. I had, all, I had to figure out all kinds of things to do with them. So a number of the tops I put into these little four inch pots just to get them started. And then I took a number of them and I had some in dirt which I just removed so we can get a little comparison. So let me go ahead and take all these out and I'll set the camera down and we'll come back. Here's the amount of growth that successfully happened on each one of these cuttings that I did. Of course, there's gonna be a link up there where you can see the other video if you're interested. So this is the dragon tree, Madagascar dragon tree, also known as, known as Dracera. And what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be putting these into some of these pots and I'm gonna put them in groups of three. So what I wanna do is put one that's fairly long and then one that's actually you know, completely grown up as a medium. And then one of these is a short. What I've done on this one, since this one was so long, as you can see, it was so long. What I've did, I've cut it in half. And then what I'm gonna do, I think, is even cut this one more time to maybe here and plant the top part in the ground and plant the bottom part in another, I mean, put in another pot and see if we could do this like a root cutting. Because so far we've done water layering for rooting. So if we took just this section, put it in the ground, we'll see if we can get it to come up out of the dirt. Because that's plenty enough to have sticking out of the ground. That's pretty amazing though. I wish my yuccas did this good. Okay, here's a couple more other cuttings that I had did, done and then I actually left them in the sun and so we had a lot of burnage on these leaves and it's getting down pretty low so we got a lot of new growth coming so that that's actually fine and then same thing with this one this one's recovering a lot better now I also took a cut from this plant but we're not going to look at that today all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pot a couple of these up and give you an idea on how I wanna group these to get them to match the way I do my yucca trees. And here we go. Now, normally I would have these in nursery pots, but since these are more of the household patio variety, um, I've tried to go into the back of the nursery where I have all the you know scratch and dents and found some of these old pots laying around this one I had ready on the porch and these have been propagating in this pot by itself and we have a little volunteer spider plant so 
I know we had one left over that's going solo here. Everything is in groups of three, as they should be. And like I said, in decorative pots. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and water this all the way through. And some will be sitting here in the window area of my studio. And some of these will be out on the porch. And as I had mentioned before that I was gonna take this and cut this and plant this into two different sections and see if we can get it to sprout from the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and just right now take that and give that a snip. Okay, that was harmless. Now we did lose a couple of roots, but it's not gonna be a big deal. You can see the amount of nodes this thing has that it's ready to produce. So I'm gonna plant this. I, I ran out of decorative pots. So I'm gonna plant this just in this nursery pot so I can keep a closer eye on it and that'll sit over here in the windowsill. And I'll plant the other portion of it right next to it because I know that's gonna sprout like crazy from the top. So I'm gonna set the camera down so I don't drop things again and get this planted out. A very wise man had told me that I should never plant anything in groups of two, that was my father. So I took the other, you know, dragon plant dragon tree, red dragon tree, whatever the slang name is for this Dracenia, as well as these other two branches and put them into this little nursery pot, which will sit, like I said, in the windowsill. So I'm going to go ahead and add some dirt to it and get it all packed in. And then what's going to be kind of important, you know, is you want to make sure that you pack in all the way around, you know, the edge of the pot. Because if it's not packed in there, once this soil starts to ex expand and contract, you're gonna see, you're gonna have a glob of soil in the center and air pockets all the way around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down, get the rest of this packed through here and water everything out. And like I said, ditch some of the things on the back patio and a couple of them will be sitting here. There's normally not paint there, but we'll be sitting here on the window rack. All right, that's it for my Dracenia. update three months of propagating and you can see we have way more plants that we know what to do with so party favors giveaways anybody who leaves my house is going to leave with a plant so hope you guys like this video thanks for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell so you could be updated on some of my other plants and escapades in the garden and nursery thanks for watching fillet tv ciao